am very happy to welcome you all to this experiment to study the charging and discharging characteristics of a capacitor. Uh, this experiment is to measure the capacitance of a capacitor. This is the capacitor. We have different types of capacitors and they are all used in variety of uh, applications like this. Say uh, to start a motor, uh, fan, uh, electrical and electronic circuits. Likewise, we are going to use our electrical uh, and electronic circuits. This is the our aim of the experiment is to uh, draw the charging and discharging characteristics curve and hence we are going to measure the capacitance of the given capacitor. For this we are going to do a simple circuit. In this simple circuit we are going to use R and C and this is connected to a power supply of course with the help of another switch. Once if we are switching on this and this we can find it is the capacitor is in charging mode. Once if you are connecting this one and this, we can find it is in discharging mode. So likewise, we are having a small operation in this place and we are going to draw the charging graph and discharging graph. That is potential of this capacitor versus time is measured in the beginning while it is getting charged. That is by taking this button to this position, we are measuring the voltage for every 10 seconds and then we are drawing the graph. This graph is in the form of an exponential growth. Once if it reaches the maximum value, that is V0, it is constant. Then we are going for discharging mode. At that time we are making this switch to this position. Now it is, this capacitor is going on discharging the charges stored in it and hence the amount of voltage available in the capacitor is going on decreasing. So in the beginning the voltage T equal to 0, the voltage in the capacitor is V0 for every 10 seconds. Likewise we are measuring the uh, voltage. Now we can find this graph is in the form of exponential decay. In this graph we are going to measure the capacitance by finding the time constant. L I will explain afterwards. So let me explain the way in which we are doing this experiment by using an experimental kit. This is the charging discharging kit. We are going to use it. Here we have a simple diagram which I told you in the earlier slide. Here we have a capacitor. Here we have a resistor. And this capacitor can be connected to any one of the terminals here. Here we have two capacitors C1 and C2. Likewise we have two resistors R1 and R2. Okay. Likewise, here we have an input source. This input source can be obtained from the kit, say DC source. From this, we are taking the voltages to this small circuit here. And here we have a, a panel, display panel, that is to measure the amount of voltage available across this uh, capacitor. For this, we are taking the two terminals, say, this positive and this positive are connected, this negative and this negative are connected likewise, so that the voltage across this capacitor can be easily measured by using the uh, digital voltage available in this display. And here we have a small section that is stop clock, stopwatch section. Once if you want to uh, measure the time, we have to switch on towards the top position, that is start position. Then you can find it starts from zero 1, 2, 3 likewise. Then once if we have finished the experiment, you can stop it. Then if you want to repeat the same type of experiment, you can press this button, say reset button, so that it can becomes uh, 0, become 0. Likewise, we are doing it. For that, we are using the connecting wires. And these connecting wires are connected like this. These are the capacitors, resistors, which are inbuilt inside this one here. We ha here we have uh, two capacitors and two resistors. While you are doing experiment in the form of a group, will give uh, different pairs, say uh, different pairs, say C1, R1 likewise, C2, R2, one combination. Okay, another combination, uh, C1, R2, likewise C2, R1, likewise will give four combination to the different students who are doing the experiment. So you have to take readings uh, differently. So this is the condition here. Let me explain the way in which it is uh, uh, working here. Once if the, the switch, if this switch is closed, uh, what will happen here? The current flows through this one and automatically it is getting charged. 
then we are measuring the uh, <coughs> uh, voltage for every 10 seconds then we are uh, um, uh, tabulating all the uh, voltages for the corresponding time from 10 second onwards in the beginning zero if you take the voltage is zero so 10 seconds 20 seconds likewise we are going on taking the readings then we are measuring the uh, so we are drawing the graph that is uh, charging graph it is like this right. now let us see the second part of our experiment this is our kit using this we are going to study the uh, charging and discharging graphs of the capacitor which we are going to use it this is the capacitor which we are going to use it actually this type of capacitor is built inside say here c1 and c2 likewise uh, two capacitors are there their values are like this way say 680 microfarad 1000 microfarad likewise likewise we have resistors r1 and r2 uh, the values are uh, 1000 sorry 100 kilo ohms and uh, uh, 150 kilo ohms likewise it is built inside the kit okay right now let us see about the parts of the uh, kit see here we have a power supply unit in this we can either use 5 volt or 9 volt once if we switch on to this side it is giving a 5 volt to this circuit and if it is in this side it is giving 9 volt to this circuit so here we have a small circuit connection in this we have R and we have C and this R and C has to be connected to the respective value of the uh, uh, C and R in this manner. And uh, across the uh, capacitor, we have to measure the voltage. For this, we are having a voltmeter, digital DC voltmeter. So from this, we are going to connect it to this terminal so that we can measure the amount of voltage available across this capacitor while we are uh, uh, charging and discharging and next we have another option here in this we have a uh, stop clock digital stop watch is there that st digital stop watch can be uh, in stop condition or start condition like this once if you switch on you can find it is going on giving the time in terms of seconds okay right and whenever you want to reset it to zero you have to press this reset button so that it becomes zero okay right now let us see uh, the way in which we are connecting the uh, power supply to this circuit see here we are taking 5 volt from this DC source positive to the positive of the circuit and ground of the power supply to the uh, ground of the circuit then we have uh, uh, what is called a digital voltmeter he is connected like this he is connected like this likewise the positive of the voltage is connected to the positive of the digital voltmeter then we have uh, mm, what's called as a resistance is connected in this manner okay r1 let me take it then uh, uh, let me take a uh, positive of the resistor say uh, the positive sorry red is connected to this one and uh, likewise the green of the capacitor is connected to this one and uh, the other end of the capacitor is connected to the so like this this is the way in which you are going to do the circuit connection now let us see the charging uh, part of this uh, e experiment uh, for this we are going to measure the uh, voltage versus time here say charging so we are switching on the charging button as well as the stop clock button uh, now after 10 seconds we are going to measure the time. it is 0 0.70 then after 20 seconds we are going to measure the time, uh, voltage 1.35 then 30 seconds after 30 seconds 1.82 likewise we are going to proceed this uh, part while it is charging once if the voltage is reaches the value the maximum value v naught value that is 5 volt we can stop it 
because that is the maximum voltage that we can able to charge in this capacitor because the source is only 4, 5 volt okay afterwards it will be going on constant here only okay after you have finished uh, taking all the readings then you are going to do the discharging part let me explain the discharging part now for that let me switch off the uh, stop clock as well as switch off this charging and discharging button then I am going to discharge this uh, uh, capacitor for this discharging the capacitor what I have to do now I have to take uh, one end of the capacitor and I have to short it like this so that now it will become zero now we are going to discuss uh, the discharging part of this experiment so at the time of uh, switching on this one it is 5 volt okay now I am taking to the discharge direction then I am switching on this one then after 10 seconds let me take the voltmeter reading now say 9 10 10 4.13 Likewise, for 20 seconds, let me see. 3.67. For 30 seconds, let me see. 3.11. Likewise, 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Likewise, we are going to take the reading till this voltmeter reading becomes zero. So likewise we are going to have a two type of table column one is for charging another one is for discharging using these two table column we are going to draw the charging uh, characteristic curve and discharging characteristic curve now let us see how we are going to measure the capacitance from this charging graph see here we have a maximum potential is v naught we are going to take a point here that point is v naught minus v naught by e that is the position here once if you draw a line like this it meets the graph at a particular point there the voltage must be according to the theory it, it must be a time constant t that time constant t must be equal to r into c so t equal to r into c therefore c is equal to t by r so by you by measuring the value of this time and knowing the value of r which is built in inside the kit we can easily determine the capacitance likewise recharging part in this recharging part we are connecting this knob to this position once if you are connecting like this now you can find the uh, what is called as the charges are uh, discharging in the resistor the charges in this are discharging in this resistor and hence the voltage in the uh, uh, what is called as a uh, capacitor is going on decreasing so the charges in this capacitor is discharging in this section the voltage in the capacitor is going on decreasing likewise we are measuring the voltage for every 10 seconds and then we are tabulating it like this in the beginning if it is zero that voltage is the maximum voltage if you are putting your knob in 5 it is 5 volt if you are putting your knob in 9 9 volt so likewise from 0 you are taking for every 10 seconds okay till it becomes 0 likewise we are drawing the discharge characteristics curve of the capacitor and it is as shown in this graph say it is exponential decay in this we can able to measure the capacitance by drawing the line say time constant line for that we are taking v naught by c here then we are extending this line it meets the graph at one particular point where it is rc then uh, the time constant at v naught by c e is equal to rc so the t is equal to r into c therefore c is equal to t by r so taking this value of t here and knowing the value of r we can measure the capacitance so we are going to measure the value of the capacitance we have measured the value of capacitance in two conditions one charging mode and discharging mode then we are taking the two values of capacitance then we are finding the average and we are reporting in this place i hope you have understood all these things here charging mode discharging mode uh, time constant everything here and the way in which we have calculated the capacitance while in charging and discharging modes then we have determined the average of the charging capacitance value and discharging capacitance value then we have uh, written in the result thank you very much